Well, it seems to be another day. And uh, I must confess, I, uh, I straightened my shirt before I began this video. Isn't that kind of interesting? You know, when we, before we're going to represent God, we want to put on our best face, you know, we want to, we want to appear right before people, you know, and really, we become more self-conscious about the things we say and how we say them, and really, we just need to be obedient. We just need to love God as much as we can, then love the then try to love the world around us. And uh, he'll do the rest. And our brothers and sisters should already be loving us. So if we misspeak or do something that's a little bit misunderstood, they come to us. They understand. And uh, they try to make it right. What if, through trying to do the right thing, trying to do what God put on your heart, you wind up with a huge hole punched in your heart? What do you do then? How do you get over it? Do you let it glaze over and form a callus or some ugly scar tissue? that you take pride in later? Or do you take it to God in prayer and say, hey, uh, this is really bothering me, you know. I love this brother and sister, or brother and sister, and they just, they put a big, hole, big huge hole in my heart, you know, and I don't know how I'm going to get over it. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to heal up and, and be okay. Well, if we take it to Jehovah God in prayer, He's faithful to heal our hearts. Now, there's a big difference between that and telling people how you were wronged by this brother or that brother or this brother or that sister big difference. Maybe true, but the best thing you can do is go to your father. Say, hey, I need healing. I got this huge hole in my heart. It just, it's not good. Tried to do what you told me to do and, you know, and this is what happened. You know, I know I'm supposed to be blessed. I know that you care about my spiritual well-being. How do I how do I get over this? How do I make this right? How do I how do I heal up so this don't hurt so much? You know, um, and he'll show you, and he'll tell you if you could have done something better or different or, you know, he'll tell you. He'll tell you what to do next. Sometimes it's just as simple as, you know, let me know how you feel. Vent to me. I'm your father. I care. I'll listen. And every once in a while he'll say something kind or just kind of give you a hug, you know, and you feel better. He extends his peace to you. And you feel better. And you start to heal. And when he heals you, there's no scar tissue. There's no marks. You wind up being better, stronger, and more circumcised than before. Because you're building trust. You know that when you act and do what he tells you to do, even though we may get 
punched in the nose sometimes and people might hurt your heart that he can fix it and that when he fixes it he often enlarges it because he doesn't waste anything he doesn't waste any time or effort or power he doesn't waste nothing so if he's in there patching up a hole in your heart and he sees something else that's not right in there too he's probably gonna take that too he's probably gonna say well uh, I'm, I'm already in here so uh, I'll just take that one too and you know that way his heart's a little more circumcised and uh, things will work out for you and you'll heal up and instead of recoiling from your brothers and sisters you'll love them more you'll reach out to them more you'll be more conscious of people that are hurting and uh, that's pretty much the point you know, we're supposed to be walking talking billboards of his love of his grace of his joy of his self-control you know we're supposed to be doing what he wants us to do which is to be peacemakers to build up not to tear down to unite and in some cases to let people know hey you're you're making a mistake but it's fixable you know to see if they love correction or not and if they don't and the truth is exposed and you get hurt in the process well take it to God take it to your brother say hey Jesus um how do I deal with this before you do anything anything take it to your father he cares about you he loves you let him guide and direct you let him tell you who brought who to talk to and let him take what he can or what you'll let him have And start healing up, people. We're not supposed to be walking around with a bunch of calluses and scars and ugliness on our heart. We're supposed to have the heart of Christ, which is beautiful and uh, overly abundant and ready to love and forgive. Well, thanks everybody, and uh, may we all have a freshly circumcised heart every morning. Thanks guys.